do-it-yourself face masks are now a trend based on necessity. There are the do's and don'ts, but there's a science to getting them as good as you can make them. PhD student David Dunraj in the McKelvey School of Engineering at Washington University in St. Louis is testing materials to determine best alternatives to N95s. Say if you have 100 particles, uh, how many of it will the fabric capture? So an N95 will capture 95 or more. So that's why the name N95. N95s are at least 95% efficient filtering out the most penetrating particle size, which is why it's desired as protection against COVID-19. But with a shortage, Dunraj is testing filtration efficiency of accessible materials. The work is done in the Aerosol and Air Quality Research Laboratory in the Center for Aerosol Science and Engineering. We put the mask on a mannequin, as you can see. Uh, and the chamber is populated with an aerosol. While it's no surprise some common cloth materials are not nearly as effective filtering out the COVID-19 virus as N95s, some available materials, like this one, are closer to N95 performance in some situations, depending on particle size. This is a halyard fabric, a medical-grade fabric cloth. It's used for hospital gowns or sterilization wraps. He says two layers of the medical-grade fabric have a maximum filtration efficiency of about 80 percent. However, the more penetrating particle size of the virus can lower its efficiency to about 45 percent. Leaks alone may drop an efficiency level filtering any particle size by about 20 percent. Some of the ones that we've tested that have the hospital gown, and then we put this inside this filter holder and test it directly. So as you can see, it's a metal filter holder and there is absolutely no leak at all while we test a fabric. But then a mask, there will be some leaks. The filter holder tests materials in ideal conditions. The mannequin chamber assembly measures efficiency when made as a mask. This is Swiffer. Another option with good results a Swiffer. We were expecting something around the 60s, but then it was slightly higher. Uh, so yeah, we were a little surprised on how something like a Swiffer could be so efficient. A Swiffer filter has the potential to be 75% efficient with two layers against the more penetrating viral particle sizes as low as 40% without leaks. And again, leaks account for a loss of about 20%. It has certain electrostatic properties where the particles cling to it. Pratim Biswas oversees the state-of-the-art center as principal investigator. He's the assistant vice chancellor of international programs and chair of the Department of Energy, Environmental, and Chemical Engineering. I actually use these myself so let's see, it's, this is the thing which goes into the Swiffer duster, right? You can buy it anywhere. So all we do is we fold this and put it between a uh, fabric and then uh, we put it around and make a mask. To wrap it in some kind of fabric. Something like a pillowcase as an outside material because you don't want the Swiffer on your face. A quality pillowcase isn't a bad option to possibly increase efficiency. In fact, if you didn't want the Swiffer filter, the research shows a mask made from a standard pillowcase fabric has a maximum efficiency of 60%, while two layers of a bandana material, 50%. If you like the idea of having a filter between the material, even better than a Swiffer is an HVAC filter. That's right, an air conditioning filter. Dunraj says the filter alone has a maximum efficiency of 85 to 90 percent, dropping to about 50 percent efficiency, filtering more penetrating viral particles. The important takeaway is to know how efficient these are because, you know, one shouldn't be under a false pretext that you're wearing some, a, a mask and it's you're perfectly protected. That's not true at all. Dunraj believes DIY mask makers can at least have some peace of mind knowing which materials offer better protection than others.